Ready to order some food? If you want to know what to avoid the next time you're at a Wendy's, then here are 10 Wendy's items you should never order under any circumstances. Don't do it. The chili. Although the rumor that a woman found a severed finger in her Wendy's chili was enough to make some people skeptical, even if that one was proven to be a hoax. Just a big stupid hoax. Wendy's chili still has its clear defenders. It's warm and hearty food that feels like home cooking, so it's easy to see why it's popular. But if you listen to Wendy's employees, they'd recommend that you probably never order it again. There are multiple claims to suggest the chili is actually made out of leftover hamburger meat, chopped up after they've been dried beneath the heat lamps all day, and then left to sit in bags of grease in the freezer for an indeterminate amount of time. If the hamburger patty had cheese on it, the employees are told to scrape the cheese off of the patty as best they can before chopping it up for the chili, meaning that Wendy's chili is not actually safe for anyone who is lactose intolerant or suffers from a dairy allergy. While we have to give them credit for finding creative ways to avoid waste in the kitchen, Durward Kirby Burger, bloody. This does come at a cost since we doubt that day-old hamburger patties are what you'd hope to find in your chili. So the next time you're in the mood for something meaty from Wendy's, maybe opt for a classic burger instead. You'd be getting the same beef, only a day fresher. <laughs> that was trippy. The Frosty. What could be better than an ice-cold Wendy's Frosty on a hot summer's day? And for those who dip their french fries in it, the combination of creamy sweetness with salty goodness is simply to die for. <laughs> Yummy. But as tasty as this frozen treat may be, according to what we hear from Wendy's employees, the Frosty may not necessarily be the most appetizing after hearing about this one. Multiple Wendy's employees have taken to Reddit to reveal just how seldomly the Frosty machine at their location tends to be cleaned, with one Redditor going as far as to claim that most employees simply don't care enough to clean the machines correctly. At the end of the night, any Frosty mix that's been left sitting in that dirty machine all day then gets poured into buckets to be stored in the fridge overnight. And if you're wondering if these buckets at least get wrapped up to avoid any debris falling in, apparently there are some employees who won't even do that much. This leftover Frosty mix, potentially full of dust and debris, then gets poured back into the machine the next day upon opening, contaminating both the machine and your delicious frozen Frosty all at the same time. If you're craving something sweet, then you might be better off opting for the Apple Bites the next time you're at Wendy's. French Fries while french fries remain the undefeated champion of fast food side dishes, we all know that restaurant chains have a tendency to leave them sitting under a heat lamp for an undetermined amount of time, which can leave your fries feeling stale and a little underwhelming. I mean, is something bothering her? For years, a popular online hack has suggested one surefire way to make sure that you're getting fresh fries each and every time you order is to ask for your fries to be made with no salt. This will apparently force the employees in the kitchen to make a fresh batch of fries, specifically for your order, or so the rumor goes. According to one Redditor, whenever someone orders unsalted fries from Wendy's, employees are instructed to return the old fries to the fryer for 30 seconds to remove the layer of salt. And simply requesting that your fries be made fresh won't help you at Wendy's either. As in this case, employees will again just dunk the old fries into the fryer to warm them back up again. It seems that there's simply no way to guarantee that your french fries will be fresh when you're ordering from Wendy's. And more likely than not, what you're probably going to get is a limp, bland piece of potato. Even when it comes to the standards of fast food, you can most certainly find restaurant chains that show a higher level of care into the quality of their sides. Baked Potato with french fries off the menu, the next side you're probably eyeing at Wendy's might be the baked potato. Offered in three styles, plain, chopped with sour cream and chives, or sprinkled with bacon bits and cheddar cheese. Wendy's baked potatoes are a cleaner, fresher option on a menu that's primarily filled with items as meaty as their most famous burger, the Baconator. But at the same time, a baked potato is one of those items that is extremely easy to replicate at home. All you need to do is pop one in the microwave, and within a few minutes, you have a baked potato. Potato. So why don't you just microwave a baked potato at home? 
Because let's be honest, the microwave is not the ideal way to cook a baked potato. Microwaves leave the skin on the potato feeling strangely chewy, and that's not necessarily the texture you're looking to get from your baked potato experience. What you want is a light, fluffy potato that you can easily sink your fork into, and that's precisely what you'd expect to get from a baked potato that's served at a restaurant. And while you may get lucky and find that perfect potato at Wendy's, if you strike when the restaurant is empty, during the busier hours, you're much more likely to receive a baked potato that's simply been popped in the microwave, precisely the same way that you would probably make it at home. And if that isn't bad enough, baked potatoes at Wendy's are stored in a heated drawer and should never be left there for longer than one hour. Yet, according to one former Wendy's manager, the potatoes would often be left in their drawer for so long that they'd eventually come to be soft. Other accounts suggest that the potatoes are often left low on the ground, where employees will mop around them throughout the day, adding yet another reason to feel skeptical on these sides. Anything with cheese sauce. If you were hoping that a bit of cheese sauce might be able to liven up those old fries that have been left under the heat lamp, we have some bad news for you. The chili cheese fries may taste delicious, smothered beneath a warm and gooey layer of buttery cheese sauce, but ask any of the employees at Wendy's, and they'll tell you that you should probably try to avoid the cheese sauces at all costs. No, 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 no. One Redditor reported that Wendy's managers sometimes instruct their employees to pour boiling water from the coffee maker into the cheese sauce whenever it starts running low in order to make it last longer. This means that you may think you're ordering cheese fries, but what you'll be getting instead are soggy fries that taste vaguely like cheddar. And even when the cheese sauce isn't watered down, others have described the texture as lumpy, which is most likely the last thing you'd want a proper cheese sauce to be. Whether it's their fries or their baked potatoes, it seems that not even Wendy's cheese sauce will be able to save these sides. I like fries. Salad. Wendy's salads may seem like one of the freshest items on their menu, so much so that you'd expect to walk away feeling pretty good about your choice in ordering one. But if you ask them for a salad before lunchtime, what you're likely going to get is a day-old salad left over from the day before, flipped upside down so that layer of mushy brown lettuce can first be removed. Remove them. Okay. Wendy's seems to operate by the logic that if you can't see that your vegetables are beginning to go bad, then that means that it isn't happening. This attitude is especially apparent when it comes to any of the chain's salads that use fresh, seasonal berries, as these tend to grow mold at a faster rate than the vegetables around them. Whenever Wendy's employees would notice a berry that had begun to grow mold, rather than throw the whole salad out, they would be instructed to wash it off a little and try to pick out the salads that looked the best. Hopefully you'll get lucky and strike at a time where the salads are fresh, but considering how unlikely that is, we might recommend skipping Wendy's salads altogether. I'm hungry, Are you hungry? Okay. Chicken nuggets. Uh, you ain't got chocolate for nuggets. We hate to break it to you, but unfortunately it's true. Even Wendy's chicken nuggets have their dark secrets. They may be a nostalgic classic sure to brighten your day with their comforting chickeny goodness, but that perfect golden warmth is more than likely the result of chicken nuggets that were kept under a heat lamp before being thrown into a fryer for a couple seconds, just to trick you into thinking that they were made fresh. In all likelihood, your chicken nuggets were probably standing by for a good long while. And if that wasn't bad enough, one Redditor even suggested that you may be getting something a little unexpected mixed in with your nuggets. Excuse me. According to the poster, when his ex-wife worked at Wendy's, the employees would dip the plastic bag containing the chicken nuggets into the oil in the fryer to get it open, rather than just ripping open the bag properly. This would lead to melted plastic falling into the fryer, and while it's impossible to say just how common this practice is, it would definitely be concerning enough to deter many from ordering the chicken nuggets again in the future. No thank you. The Fish Sandwich Wendy's offers their fish sandwiches seasonally, and although it's failed to make quite the same splash as McDonald's filet fish their recipe of North Pacific cod manages to stand out as distinctive enough from their competition's breaded patty made with pollock. Wendy's fish sandwiches most certainly have its fans, but it's the fact that they aren't kept on the menu for extended periods that creates a problem. Fish! Yes, chef. 
multiple former employees have suggested that Wendy's rarely receives new shipments of fish and that old stock may be kept in the freezer for months or perhaps even more than a year. With all of that considered, it seems to be no wonder that Wendy's fish sandwich hasn't quite caught on exactly in the way they would have hoped. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Fountain Soda Fountain Soda is the oft-forgotten yet completely necessary addition to any complete fast food order. That big, greasy Baconator wouldn't taste half as good without a nice iced soda to wash it down with. But when your soda is coming out of the machine filthy, that most definitely becomes a problem. In a situation somewhat similar to what we discussed with the Frosty machine, many Wendy's employees report that they simply don't clean the fountain machines properly. The soda fountain nozzles may be briefly dunked into a bucket of water, but that's about it. Ew, gross. This means that there could be months worth of gunk and whatnot built up within the nozzles, and your soda has to filter through all of that every time you hit the button to fill your cup. Beyond that, another Redditor suggested that the bucket and scoops the employees use to fill up the ice machine are also rarely washed, despite being handled by multiple people who may or may not have cleaned their hands after handling money or using the facilities. It's difficult to know exactly how widespread this practice is, or precisely how it might affect your health. Can you imagine what that little would do to me? But at the end of the day, you'd probably just be better off choosing a bottled beverage. Grape soda? Yes, please. Anything grilled. A great amount of items on Wendy's menu are prepared on the grill, whether it's their chicken sandwiches or the burgers they made their name with. And as much as you might love a big, juicy Baconator, there may be one detail shared by Wendy's employees that might officially turn you off of some of their most delicious selections for good. Kahuna Burger. That's that Hawaiian burger joint. In a Reddit AMA entitled, I am an employee at Wendy's, ask me anything, a Reddit user revealed that anyone being trained to work on the grill at your local Wendy's is told that they are actually not allowed to wear gloves while operating the grill. This means that they will be handling the majority of the meat that they sell completely barehanded. And while they are required to wash their hands before doing so, precisely how strictly this rule is enforced sort of depends on the location you're eating at. Hopefully you get lucky with an employee who takes food safety seriously and properly washes their hands before they touch your food. But considering improper hand washing techniques can lead to multiple health problems, including salmonella, hepatitis A, and the contraction of airborne illnesses, we would definitely understand if you simply wouldn't want to take the risk. Gloves would most certainly add an extra barrier against potential bacteria contaminating your food. And so we hope that Wendy's management changes their mind on this seemingly strange decision in the near future. What do they call it? They call it the Royale which first time here? Then leave us a comment and hit that subscribe button. And for another great video, just tap or click 